Jack and Jill here. Hello. Welcome to the Jack Jill Show, entertaining real estate investment advice. I'm Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from sunny Southern California. Today, Jill and I talk about the 24-month millionaire revisited. Why? Because several hundred people are asking for it. <laughs> Why? It seems like. <laughs> because we like you. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse Club. Exactly. Oh, we're showing our age. You know what's so funny about that? I No, that's... Come on. All right. Yeah. I should have not said that. Never mind. <laughs> well, you, you know, know what? Nobody believes that we're in Do you know what? show. Hold we, on a moment. We just get over that. You know, if you hadn't said anything, <laughs> it would have just gone over the other uh-huh. people's heads and they wouldn't have known that what that was. I know. So thank you very I, much. I feel compelled to call out certain stuff with uh, on the show with you. Well, you know what, though? Hold on a moment. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. If it helps, you're much prettier now than you were 10 years ago. And I mean that for myself. I don't know if that helps. It doesn't help. <laughs> I don't know. No, I do. Thank Maybe you I very much. Maybe I just can't see as well. Well, yeah, that's it. Your eyesight's gone. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Before we get into this, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the jackjill.com online community. It's free. Okay, I have to tell you, I was reading this question beforehand, and I started to giggle just reading the question, and I really, I, I love that our people put this in here. So Michael V. wrote on our online community this exact question. I'm trying to convince my wife this is legit. Is there some outside agency that will vouch for Land Academy? <laughs> I love this because <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, Better Business Bureau. No. <laughs> I mean, it's just really funny. All right, so one of our members actually piped in and said something, and I know I know which Kevin this is, and it was really cool. So Kevin wrote back, and by the way, you can all go there and read this too. Kevin wrote, Michael, you will probably not be able to convince your wife until she sees it working. There may not be an outside agency, but there are a few hundred of us on this forum, maybe more, who will vouch for Land Academy. A few thousand right you have access to all the forum posts and all the podcasts if you read all the posts and listen to all the podcasts you will have over 80 percent of the information the hard part is putting all the different pieces together into a plan that you can execute the training does all of that and more yeah kevin oh, so nice God, yes purchase kind of publicity purchase of the training makes you a member and that is part of the membership awesome we should pay this guy i know that's so good thank you kevin thank you kevin i appreciate it he's really- actually right in fact, that that uh, didn't all happen by accident. You know, like um, there's some people in this business, Seth Williams, that I really respect. And he said, look, you could take two or three years out of your life and listen and watch everything on the Internet about buying and selling land. And you'll get it. Mm-hmm. Or you can just pay for it and get it in two weeks. Exactly. <laughs> and cut right to Isn't the chase funny? and start buying and selling property. That's so true. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's the reality. How do you want to? You want to? How many years it take us to get where we are? Do you want to put in that time, or you want to just jump ahead? We have some members on that forum. You know, on the back end, we can see where everybody, how long everybody's been with us, every all the stats. And there are several people on the forum that have no intention of spending a dollar on any of this, mm-hmm. which I respect a lot. And they're doing great. Mm-hmm. We have some people that spend well, a ton of money on this stuff. And, uh, well, you're not that you can spend a ton, but they, they try it and it just, they can't seem to get it right. Maybe Which that's is really part what, of it too. kind of what this show is about. Well, maybe that's part of it, Jack. Maybe that's the people that, that don't really invest and spend the money on it. They don't invest in anything. You know, they just like to dabble in a lot of stuff. It's Eddie Van Halen's guitar. Mm-hmm. You've said it a million times. I know. If Eddie Van Halen teaches you to play the guitar for 45 minutes and then you wake up the next day and you can't play the guitar... Right. It's and not it's Eddie Van not Halen's wrong fault. something Eddie Van Halen. Exactly. <laughs> and it's not the guitar's fault. <laughs> so, yep. Thank Today's you. topic, 24-month millionaire revisited. This is the meat of the show. What the heck is a 24-month millionaire anyway? Take it away, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> so, I struggle with this, Jill, and I struggle with this concept. Uh where did this come? Please, Often. please back up, Jack, if if you will, and tell us where this whole cockamamie idea and this whole this came from. Well, a twenty-four month millionaire. This is what it, it's a manual. It's in a written form manual. It's a book, and it and it happened because it happened to me. I, mm-hmm. I made it right when I started in this in the late nineties and early two thousands. I made a million bucks flipping land on the internet on eBay specifically, and the whole premise is you buy an asset. You send out a bunch of offers, you buy an asset for 4000 bucks, and you sell it for 8000 
and then you do the same thing over and over and over again, and it doesn't take that long before you have a million bucks. Especially if you continue to work in your job, the regular job that you have, pay your bills and, and don't use the money for anything else. So, in fact, I've done this several times, many times over. Jill, and since I've known Jill, we've done it. Mm-hmm. So that's really what it is. However, it's not that, it's not just that. There's other stuff that I really believe, and this is where Jill comes in, that gets in the way. We just alluded to it for a minute ago. <laughs> what do you mean this is where Jill comes in? Well, what, did know, I get in the way? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like. No, information. This is what happened. Then I met Jill. <laughs> and then the 24-month millionaire went, became the... 24-month thousandaire. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no, this Things is where Jill... get in the way like women. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of the book. <laughs> and no. kids. What I meant was, this is where Jill comes in and it can help. I'm information. She's yeah. in- inspiration. Good save. <laughs> so a lot of what this is all about is not just a manual on how to buy real estate and resell it and double your money. In, in the case of land, you double your money. In the case of houses, you make 10 or 20 grand per pop, per unit. So that's what it's about. So why doesn't everybody do this? Why There's so many entrepreneurial people out there that are incredibly intelligent, hardworking, that are stuck working in an ice cream short, shop, shop or a barbershop that they started. I believe it's because life gets in the way. And that's a lot of what this book is about. They let about, life get in the way is really what yes, it is. Yes, exactly, Joe. Staving off all the stuff that, that happens in life, like children and, and uh, relationships. and Sick parents. Or and trying to please your parents. I mean, it's, there's job, a... I've spent a woes. lot of time. I've spent two years writing this book and, and uh, it's, it's... Thinking you're I'm unhappy and it's really not that bad. Yeah. I need another car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keeping I'm up with the Joneses. Love that is, one. I interviewed a lot of people, actually, about, you know, this. I asked them exactly the, the question I just asked. And a lot of them said, yeah, I just don't think I'm smart enough. They didn't come out and say that. Some of them did. Mm-hmm. What do you mean you're not smart enough? You're smart enough, trust me. Isn't that funny? Yeah, the, the At the end of the day... It's a mindset. We all just... We're just get. If the end of the day, the only reason... The only person you have to blame for not doing something or, or getting to this point is yourself. You really can't point your finger at your wife or your kids or your boss or the economy. We just have to sit and look at what you want and then really just not... I was thinking about this earlier today, actually before the show, because we're implementing this new calendar... We're going to put, Jill and I are going to put the calendar that she and I use to get stuff done on jackjill.com on the front page as soon as it's all organized from a tech standpoint. And I really believe that is like part of, a big part of what's missing in why people can really just knock it out of the park financially. It's just quite simply getting organized and following a, a, a calendar. Mm-hmm. And sticking to it. You and I do it all the time. I don't know why. And right. and you know what? If something doesn't work right for some reason, anything, like we send some mail out in XYZ County or we hit a subdivision and we price it wrong, stuff happens all the time. Mm-hmm. We just, I don't, we, you and I kind of high five each other and laugh about it and say, yeah, let's, let's, uh, I guess we're going to have to send the next one out. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. Mm-hmm. Or let's, you know what? I'll go back to the drawing board and I'll, I'll, I'll dig a little deeper on how we're pricing this stuff and we'll figure it out. And then we go do it. I don't sit around and say, God, I'm a failure. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, I wonder if my, my girl still loves me. <laughs> None of that stuff. <laughs> Kids sure as hell don't care about any of this. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> that right now. Nope. <laughs> so that's what the book is about, but you know, in a kind of a funny, light-hearted uh, manner. You know, there's one, a couple of areas in there where I say that if you do these three things, you're going to really, truly sabotage your whole life and your success potential for success. You know, what's interesting is, you know, we were, we're. I was just talking about this with kid number two about what's your dream job. Kid number two is 18, almost 19. And I'm like, come on. Let's let's really start planning for this. What's your dream job? And he spelled it. I'm like, all right, you know, we what is now. It? I want to know. Well, you know, it was a little too vague. Stop before, buying and selling real estate. I know that. No, it's not. <laughs> no, but it was something like where I can be creative and make oh, a great yeah, living. Yeah. It was a little bit too broad. That's what I want. I know that. So I said, all right, go go back to your room and come back out with a real answer. <laughs> go to your room. <laughs> no, just kidding. Go to your room. I'm going to smack that creativity yeah, right on you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's a fluff answer. <laughs> so, no, but I really did. I tasked him and actually I gave him the weekend to think about it. So I'm like, all right. 
I want you to really spend some time. Think about your dream job. And I said, too, because this is scary when you're 18, 19. You don't want to like, what if I make a bad decision and I change my mind? So I, I said, look, I know this could change. I don't care. But what is it right now? And we'll go down that path and then we'll tack. So anyway, I... Um, I love when you use boating analogies. Thank you. <laughs> so I, so the point is, I'm, I want him to come out with, you know, I saw a guy doing, um, you know, it's it's computer, it's computer related, and we actually talked about. We had a really good conversation because he he already signed off on that. I said, you're not getting an any kind of an arts degree. You're getting a science degree. It's going to be you're going to know computer stuff. There's going to be a lot of computer science in there, and also he's like, yep, I hear you, I got it, yes. I'm like, who are you? What have you done to my kid? That's good. Jill. I know. It's we, more progress. Some than, of the stuff that I made more progress in one conversation than we all have together in 18 years. Well, you know, I think all this stuff's finally sinking in. You know, I really do. It's it's now. He's like, okay, I hear you. Now I'm getting it. So anyway, the point the, where this relates to this topic today in a really long way is. Um, <laughs> I said, basically, find your dream job. We're going to talk to someone who's doing it. We're going to find out how they got there, and we're going to dissect it and work it backwards. And it can't be your parents. No. Cracks me up. No, I never said that. No, my, I am. I'm saying it. Oh. These kids don't listen to their parents. Oh, but no. somebody else. Well, that's the well, that's point, too. I'm going to have an unrelated third party here also saying, if you want to do my job, do this, don't do that. This was a waste of time. Boy, I wish I'd done that. You know, whatever it is. And then we can sit and go, okay, what kind of degree is involved? How much time? Um, is there an internship involved? You know, let really plan it out. So we know by age 23 or whatever it is, you can now start, you know, applying for those. You're ready. So and here's you could be in that in that job. So it relates to this, where when you really think about this 24 month millionaire, people go, oh, some people go, eh, piece of cake. Not, me. I mean, some do. I'm sure. I don't know how what the percentage is, but I know a lot of people that go, oh man, whew, that's hard. No, is it? And like you just said, Jack, when you think about it, let's work it backwards. Work it backwards. How many deals is it going to take? How big are the transactions? What are you comfortable with? What do I if have you're to comfortable do every with week? little transactions, you're going to do a lot more of them. How many offers do I if have? If you want to do out? bigger transactions, you're going to do a lot fewer of them. That brings me back to the calendar. Mm -hmm. So if you know you want a million bucks at the end of 24 months, then just work it backwards. Mm -hmm. Put it in a calendar. I need to get, for these three weeks, first three weeks, I need to get incredibly educated. Or maybe for you, it's six months. I, I prefer to have a lot more education up front and then go pound it out versus the other way. Some people, they just want to try it and then retry it and try it and find their way. And that's fine too. It all works mm -hmm. as long as you start from the end, not the beginning, mm -hmm. and work your way back, just like you said. It's so much easier. Before you go to college, find out who you want to work for. I mean, when you really when think about done. it, we don't, why, why we were not, all talk told this all our whole lives growing up you know you think about degree it's kind of funny we kind of think about we're kind of doing it backwards you know while you're in elementary school and middle school and then high school you, you know you're you're icing out what you like and what comes natural maybe you're math maybe you're not into math you know maybe you're an engineer maybe you like accounting maybe you like physics maybe you like girls maybe, maybe you like you boys like girls. yes thank you <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, God, my shin is all bruised. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> anyway, listen, Mr. Football Jock. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Okay. So, um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, th I there were three things that came to my head and none uh -oh. were appropriate. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. No, 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 no. It's all good. You have to say them now. I know. We'll get there. Anyway, um, the point is... Then we go into college, and, and you think of that as a further exploratory uh, environment, which I don't think it should be. I think we should have a good idea and go to the right school. Like I did. You know what? Didn't, I naturally did. I was sharing that story with kid number two again. Um, stop me if this is boring. So <laughs> Jack said yes. It is. All right. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> go it's ahead. It's not about college. All college right. is a small example. Okay. This is about real estate investing. Okay. And where you want to go and what you want to do. So everybody's, everybody's, Jill's exactly right, by the way. That's the conversation you have to have with yourself. What do you want? Mm -hmm. I hate my job. I hate my whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, fill in the blank. 
you're not nobody's listening to this because it's entertaining they want to know how to nobody's flip listening to this <laughs> period <laughs> <laughs> go ahead sorry so you look at a book like the four hour work week and I struggle with how silly these names are oh so the four hour work week is does anybody really want to work four hours no, I do I don't no <laughs> I want to work 400 hours I really do True. it's something that I enjoy that, that I really succeed at and, and make a good living at a really right. good living so that book, if you really read it, though, there's a roadmaps in there that, you know, it, it's, it was incredibly successful as a book. Tim Ferriss. Right? right. Yeah. And who now has a pretty successful podcast because of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, then he went on to write four hour workout or something like that. Oh, did he? Four, it has the something four hour it. wife. Four hour wife. <laughs> for our children. There's something about weight loss or four, four hour, hour workout or something. That's it doesn't awesome. matter. But, you know, the, the title's silly, uh, a lot like my title, but the book is actually a pretty technical manual on how you can achieve it. Mm-hmm. And his has to do with outsourcing and getting organized and there's sure. spreadsheets in there and everything. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Just like mine. Love this it. is not a book plug. It's just what's possible. Mm-hmm. It's meant to get you thinking. And if you really want to take it seriously, you know, there's roadmaps and the, there's uh, spreadsheets and you could look at it as a manual. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jack. That's really what that, that what's what it's all about. And I say the title has revisited in it because, man, every time we have this show, I, people reach out to me and they're like, when is it? When can I buy it? When can I yeah, buy it? Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it, Jack? <laughs> it's close. <laughs> it's close. It's, 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 uh, it's close. Let's just say. <laughs> well, you've done it again. You've wasted another, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes listening to uh, where our number two child's going to go to college. Oh, gosh. <laughs> And that's time you'll never get back. <laughs> Join us tomorrow where we discuss how to how how to not uh, let your feelings feelings get in the way. Love it. And we answer your questions should you have one. Post it on the JackJill.com online community. You're not alone in your real estate ambition. Boy, we were all over the map. I know you had to cut me off. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was no, just I, kind of I was having off. an enlightening moment. I was kind of sharing. <laughs> It's just, you know, there's so much crap about college and education. And here's what I really think, since no one's listening to this at all anymore. Yeah. It's that the education is so antiquated. It's the 21st century. We have the internet. The internet's not even that old. What's well, probably maybe the way we use it now, maybe five or 10 years old. Right. It's going to grow exponentially. Do we really need to sit in a class for four years and listen to some old guy Not point funny. at the board and stuff? We don't have to do the memorizing and all the silly things that we had to do. We even were high school. About that. Yeah. My sister's kid just graduated from high school. He had an associate's degree in welding. Mm-hmm. He's two years into his uh, four-year degree in engineering. Mm-hmm. That's how much stuff you can cram in these days. Plus, mm-hmm. these kids are smarter. They have the, they have, to have a dictionary, encyclopedia slash you know whatever Computer in their pocket. their pockets. Yep. So it's, it's just, it, it requires now more than ever, you have to really think out of the box mm-hmm. and really buck the system and decide what's for you. Exactly. We made a, a career out of it. Love it. Share the fun <laughs> by subscribing on iTunes or wherever you're listening. And while you're at it, please rate us there. We are, we are Jack, Jack and Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property.